Hello everyone, this is Brennan here from bshep.net and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up basic compositing in Blender 2.61. Alright, so let's get started. Go ahead and open up Blender 2.61 and now the first thing we need to do is understand what we're doing here. So the first thing is compositing. There, you can. There's two different ways you can do it but I'm going to do it a different way that you would probably think we're going to do it which is use the movie clip editor and you open up a movie clip and I'll just show you an example you use a video clip it's the same one I used in that video I have. and you it's pretty much like After Effects you add the camera tracks the uh, little trackers and you put them, position them on a highlighted spot like, let's see, somewhere defined point. Like let's just say this little black dot right here. So if you want to do that, now what you do is you just click on the forward arrow and it tracks, tracks that point. So it's pretty much like After Effects. And then you have to just, um, solve the camera motion and then it'll create the camera in blender it'll move like you it would in this footage so let's go back to 3d view and what we want to do is we want to just set up there's a different way of doing it than using the movie clip editor so this is the way to do it uh, I'll show you just delete the default cube. Now let's go to front view. Right there. And now what we want to do is basically just uh, select the camera and press Control Alt Zero. Position it in the front view. And now we would like to add the background image right here. Add image open, you have to select movie clip, open, let's go to videos, search for your video, find your video, I actually could have just clicked on this thing and then this little thing, yeah, alrighty, so we have the video in the background, now what we want to do is if you render this, if you notice there's nothing there, and that is because you did not add a plane and put the texture on it. So that's what we have to do. So you do Shift A, Add Mesh Plane. So that's the Add menu right there, and then Mesh Plane. Now you will press R and X on the keyboard, and press type in 90 at the top of your keyboard with uh, the numbers at the top of your keyboard. And now place it by left clicking and you size it up fit it fit it to the camera like so and now that's pretty much it you just have to move this as far away as you can now size this that should be good now you just go to the materials, little material button, add a new material, and go to the texture button, and add a new texture, and change it to image or movie. Let's change this to the video. So let's find a video. And if you render it now, you should see the video. Yes, the video is on there. So what we want to do is change this see as you can see it's very dark what we want to do is make light, and light it up and make it uh, the way it looks right here on the side as you can see so what we want to do is change the the shadeless setting which is in the material button change it to shadeless if you render it now, you'll see there's no dark problems. 
that was just because it, this makes it so that the lights, nothing, no lights or anything in the scene affect it, affect this plane right here that we have. So now that's pretty much it, but the last thing you have to do to set up is just add a plane for the ground if you have anything landing or flying over this ground you want to put a plane to make the shadows so let's go ahead and add a plane another plane and size it and angle it as if it's leaning it's at an angle and let's see oh, back to wireframe mode and we will probably we can probably just go with that and just put something right here. I'm gonna add a cube solid. If I go I put it right here and move the lamp in a different position. Let's see. Right about there. Render it. See what it looks like. Yep, so there's the shadow, and as you can see, we have this plane here. We don't want to see that, and this is dark. Can't see it. So, what you want to do is probably move a lamp on the other side, but change it to no shadow for this lamp. Just so there won't be too many shadows being created. And the light in this video is coming from, let's see, the light is coming from that way, so there would be shadows this way. So if you render this, see what it looks like. Yep, so it lights up that side, and there's no shadows. Just that specularity. But what we want to do is change this, because the way you you don't want to you don't want to see this plane down here. So what you want to do is add a new material to it, and you want to make it transparent, add the transparency, and then we are going to, in the shadow, okay, go down, um, we want to choose shadows only, so it only shows sh shadows, as you can see is no, you don't see any object, so you only see the shadows of whatever object is on top of this. There we go. So that is basic compositing in Blender 2.61, and that's pretty much that's the way I did it to make that plane fly over. All you have to do, the another thing you had to I had to do was change this lamp to the samples had to be I think it was like five soft size to I'm pretty sure something like that. It just makes it look softer and uh, more natural. So yeah, like that. So that's pretty much it. You can see the little bit of shadow, and that's pretty good. And all you have to do, if you want to, you can animate it and make it move, and then you'll see a shadow move inside the animation and inside when you um, when you render out a video. Video. So that's pretty much it, and yeah. So. That's how to composite in Blender 2.61. Thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you next time.